All right, Gabby. Hi. Gabby, how you been? I've been doing good. So what, it's been about two, three months? Yeah, I went to detox. Did you? Yeah, I've been doing really good. Um, but um, I've been outside still, I'm still homeless. Um, got in contact with my grandma. She wanted to see how I was doing. She seen the video, um, the previous YouTube video, and she was really worried about me. And so was my cousins. So I went to, to, to detox for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And I got back on my medicines, my severely mental ill, um, SMI and DDD medicines. And um, I've been doing good, making some money, saving some money for my friend, um, boyfriend to get out of prison. I'm helping her. Um, shout out to Auntie T because that's who I'm making the money for. Um, I really want to help her because she really loves her boyfriend. She used to do blues. She got completely off. That's She's good. doing really well. She got off for her son. She didn't want the dope to swallow her whole and to ruin her life. So she's doing really well. She's healing other people too. Like her husband used to do him. He quit cold turkey for her because he's so in love with her. So where's your grandma living at right now? She's in California still, but she comes back here to visit. Yeah. She'll come in and see me, pick me up, take me to lunch. Well, she paid like freaking forty-five dollars for a meal from Garcia's Mexican restaurant. I was like thinking that. So for after that. the video, she came out here. Yeah. And she took you to eat. Yeah, and she brought me a whole bunch of clothes and stuff, brand new shoes. She just, she she does That's a good. lot for me. And I love her. For Shout out to your grandma. You, you have yeah. a good grandma, man. Um, I have a good family that cares for me. Did she tell you, did she try to get you to go back with her to California or not? No. She and my grandpa are really old, elderly. Yeah. And, you know, I'm quite a bit. I'm a, I'm a handful, you know. Um, but I did live with my Nana from the age of, like, 13 to 18 mm -hmm. and I got my high school. That's, that's who pushed me to get my high school diploma. So shout out to Nana, I love you. Oh, so you graduated high school and everything. Yeah, I have my high school diploma. I graduated from North Canyon. Where is that? Is that out here? It's in the north. It's, um, yeah, it's Paradise Valley area. Okay. That's a nice area out there. Yeah, I, but I always went to private schools. So, yeah. you know, the private schools, the, like charter, yeah. you can't put a private school's name on a diploma. Mm -hmm. So my school district, uh, they got in contact with a, high, a public high school. And they asked me if I wanted to walk across the stage to graduate. I said no. Okay. You also said that your mom reached out to you and she's in Nevada, No, right? no, no. My mom reached out to my Nana. Okay. My grandma, because I didn't have a phone at the time as my mama would have called me. Yeah. But I, out here on the streets, one, there's a lot of stealing mm -hmm. and it's homeless people turning on each other. When all these homeless people, we should be working together instead of against each other. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're all homeless. We all need a place to stay, to rest our head. We need our sanctuary, and that's our home. And when I get my home, that will be my safe haven. Somewhere I can go to relax, take a shower, rest my head. All those things, eat food, start a family. I want all those things. So that's your dream right there, to start a family one day and have a home? Yeah, and have a car. I want a car. How many kids do you want? Five. And and if I can, maybe six of them, because I want three boys and three girls. Half and half. That's cool. Yeah. I think you, could, you can definitely do it. 
Yeah. Me too. I, if so I can go to high school and get my high school diploma, I can surely get a house. And you can get off these streets too. Yeah, I sure can. And I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to start. Oh, well, I'm not going to start. I'm start. I've started already from nothing. I'm going to become something. So what's up with the phone situation? Do you have a phone, a tablet, anything? You yeah, I have a phone and a tablet. The tablet does have service. Um, so I can get on my email um, and stuff like that. But one, um, I'm going to have um, one later on give you guys the phone number to my phone and my email but I do have a previous email on the tablet that already came with it as of right now yeah. so stay tuned and I'll let him know you know what I mean so you guys can help me get some donations for my big dream so you want me to link the information yeah where are you sleeping at right now um off and on i'll be going to like you know friends house and the couches or like last night my friend took me back to his mom's house and i just stayed the night left this morning at like six o'clock when she got up to go to work because when I first interviewed Because he you, works too, you know, so I can't stay at home by myself. Yeah. Not yet, um, but maybe in the future, you, you know. You build up that trust The something. trust, yeah. But hey, trust is earned, it's not given. I was going to say, when I first interviewed you, you were over there on, like, 35th Ave in Indian School. Yeah. What are you doing all the way on this side of town? On Van Buren and 27th Ave. Yeah. I'm over here because I pick my $75 check up on Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday, I get $75. Um, and that's supposed to last me to the next Wednesday on to get $75 more. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. You can't live off of $75. Yeah. It's real hard. But I get what I need to get, like some snacks and food. Well, what, what is that for? It's from my social security income. I know um, in the last video I told you guys I have a pub fit downtown as a public fiduciary guard slash guardian. Okay. That makes decisions for me. Um, but she won't, she's refusing to give me my money still. Yeah. And I'm struggling real hard out here, you guys. So she doesn't want to give you the full amount? No, and she's I scared have, that you might do some. Yeah, she's some scared. Stuff with it. Yeah, um, you might but I get the wrong thing. yes. Um, but it is illegal for her to be doing this because she's supposed to be the guardian. She can sign off on, send the money from my account to pay for my room yeah. or pay for my apartment. Yeah. She used to pay my rent when I lived in the group home. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's illegal for her to keep me out here and not help me get a hotel or something, you know, to lay my head, have AC, have water, have something to eat. She's refusing to do that. So the only option is to wait for my checks to be. Because that's what I have to live off of. I have to also, make a stretch somehow. Do you also get food stamps or not? Yes, but I only get $64 because I get 941 a month in Social Security. And I've been homeless for two years and not paying one bill. So you guys do the math. 941 times how many months are in a year? $75 is all I get every Wednesday. So four weeks. So where, where's all that money going to? In my savings. Okay, but it is going back to you. Yes, Ultimately. eventually. Okay. Eventually, I'll have a place to call home, a car, family, because that money will help me get that. Yeah. As soon as you get back on your feet, yeah. you can get that money or access yeah. to that money. Yeah. That's good. All of it. Every That's single really penny. So as soon as you get better, you'll have a lump sum. Yeah. They usually do $2,000 spin downs, but I'm not in a group home to where the staff can monitor me on what I buy and stuff, so she won't give me the money, you know? Yeah. It's a Pepsi truck. 
Sorry. So where are you going right now? Are you just gonna go back to hang out with your friends or what's gonna happen? Yeah, I was just, we were just gonna go smoke a couple of cigarettes and talk and play with the dogs. He had two dogs on his cart. Mm. Well, in his cart. I like to play with loyalty. Loyalty's pretty, she's a pretty puppy. Both of my puppies got stolen. Thank you, honey. Just All right, well, if any of your loved ones gets to see this update, what would you like to tell them? Do you have anything that you want to say? Nana and my family, I'm doing so well. And I thank you for pushing me to go to detox, Nana, and my cousin Allison Paradowski. I love you guys. Mwah.